Hi guys, I hope everyone is doing well. We have Debbie from Maryland. I'm finally seeing my comments, so welcome. I know Jen joined, so Jen is gonna help me answer any questions that you guys might have. Sometimes I see the comments, sometimes I'm just too involved in my blog to see the comments, but Jen will let me know. Okay, so this is recording, and if you have the link, obviously you could watch it on replay as well. So welcome. I'll just take some time to introduce myself. My name is Rita Panula. I'm coming to you from my home studio today. I'm not in the Impress Art building. All right, so welcome. Welcome to my menagerie of stamp hoarding. Um, welcome, welcome. So today we're doing a class on Constellation. Now, I know a lot of you, I'm seeing some names popped up, and I know who you ladies and gentlemen are. Just thank you for coming back. We took a little bit of a hiatus, but we're back now. Next month, we're back with two two back-to-back -back classes on hand stamping. Um, you could always join us on Thursdays for the rest of the summer. That is through August, okay, at three o'clock on Thursdays on our Facebook Live. All right, um, stop by, say hello. Um, it's a time where we all get together. We're very much all very well uh, like-minded, okay? Any questions you have, any issues with using any of the tools or tutorial that you might wanna see, or even if you wanna pop in and just say hello, please do so, okay? Um, what you wanna do also is just make sure Three, um, that's Eastern Standard Time. All right, Eastern Standard Time. Um, you could always watch it on the replay and you could even shoot us a message and Jed and I will try to um, answer it as timely as possible. We also have a Facebook group, a secret group, okay, that you could find on the Facebook page. And you definitely wanna join that because there are a lot of, um, good tips and tricks in there. You could share your pieces that you've stamped or if you're stumped on a design. Um, we're a good group of like-minded stampers, okay? And we draw inspiration from one another, okay? And also if we are in your Michaels or your neck of the woods, you'll be notified um, if you join that group, all right? So without further ado, um, we are doing, we're using Constellation sticker guides today. So a little bit about Impress Art. Okay, um, Impress Art is available at every Michaels. Okay, sometimes your planograms might vary, you know, a little bit more, a little bit less, okay? If there's something you're looking for, definitely, look, you know, talk to the manager of the local store and they could pass that on, all right? You could also um, just visit us for inspiration and tutorials at impressart.com. Um, or sales at impressart.com and we can help you with anything pertaining to tutorials or product or any any question you might have pertaining to metal stamping. Um, also, all right, um, we like to, how would I say this? We like to develop products to make stamping easier for everyone. We want to definitely, okay, definitely, 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 want to take that guesswork out of it for you. Okay, so with the new resets in Michaels, you're gonna see a lot of new products coming out and these are gonna be aids to help you, like your sticker guides, to stamp perfectly straight with perfect space in between. So we're always as a company trying to grow and help that beginner stamper or that maker and creator that really is doing a lot of production work. So with this book, okay, this constellation book, if you open it up, Okay, um, it comes with a bunch of different stickers. Okay, so let's just open up one page. I'll open up a full one page because I was playing with these last night. So it has the three size stickers. Guys, the sky is the limit with these stickers. Okay, you could do it from a very small tag and I'm gonna show you how to do that to the largest tag or even if you wanted to create more of a trinket dish. Okay, which is a little bit more of an advanced um, advanced thing to do. But we're gonna go through a scope of how to use these stickers with the stamps that come attached. Now, if you're looking for just the sticker guide, you know what, your Michaels, they only have the sticker guide with the stamps. All right, and I'm speaking fast, so I'm gonna slow down. Um, you can go to impressart.com and get your refill book of your constellations. All right, now if you're super careful with these, again, on just the hands, 
Um, I'm not good at selling, but if you're careful with these, you might be able to reuse them if you're doing multiple. I don't know if I was supposed to say that, but you can. All right, now I'll try to show you how if I don't rip one off and rip the sticker also. So we'll go over all my tips and tricks and, and um, little hints that I have for you guys on how to use this stuff. All right, so I am going to turn my phone around. All right, get you into position and we are gonna play. So I'm not only using an aluminum today, okay? I'm going to go through harder metals with you, which is that silver, um, excuse me, the brass and the copper, which is your gold tone, okay? And your rose gold color, what everybody likes to call it. So um, what I'm speaking about today are simply the Impressor products, okay? I know there's two brands on that pod, but I'm definitely speaking to the Impressor, okay? Um, and I'll let you know little tips and tricks on how you could polish those up, so on and so forth. All right. So we're going to be working with the silver, which is either alchemy or aluminum that are available, Michaels, or your brass that's, that's available and your copper. All right, guys. So give me a couple of minutes. This is always a weird, um, transition. Let's see. All right. There we go. Let's put you. Sorry, guys. In there. All right. I'm going to shut some of these lights off because you don't want to see my face. You want to see the stamps. Let's put that book there. Now, if I'm going too fast, just let Jen know. All right. Because I, if you hear the accent, I talk fast and I'm a New Yorker. So, what I just want to show you guys is that when you open up your kit, this is how you're going to get it. Okay, it's in that plastic. You're gonna open that plastic and you're just gonna say, I love to rip these out. And I'll tell you why, because sometimes um, I use the book so much that the papers get a little flimsy. Oop. The papers get a little flimsy and um, they start to just come out a little bit. So I always like to take this piece out these two. And I like to either tape them inside my bead box that's holding all of my blanks, or I have a little cork board that I like to take them out and put them on. So let's just run through this really quick. So your installation, your constellation kit includes a small dot, a large dot, a glimmer, and a starburst. Now this product works really well with the crystal setter. And I'll show you that towards the end of the video of the, of the class today. And you can see that you are literally taking your sticker, placing it on top of your blank and using them, you, you know, starting to do your project. In your kit, you're going to get Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius. Now, there's three different sizes and let's turn to those. I already used Capricorn. Let's take Aquarius. Um, so you'll see that it's all three Aquarius, but they're a little different. So you're smaller, you know, where you want to stamp it on a smaller piece. And just because it's round doesn't mean you can't stamp it on a bracelet. You can't stamp it on a square, a heart. Really, the sky is the limit. And I'm going to show you that also, how you could stamp it on different um, different pieces of uh, metal, different shapes. Um, the second one you see is a little bit more detailed. That's where you're going to bring in your glimmer, okay? And you're large and small. Let's go back to the first. I'm sorry. Your first is basically all made out of small dots. Okay. Second is made out of small and medium, uh, small and large dots with your glimmer. Okay. And the large one is made out of small, medium dots, your glimmer and your starburst. And what I love about the starburst is you could either put your glimmer inside that starburst or you can put your um, small dot or your large dot, or if you have your crystal setter, you could sink it in on that as well. Okay, so we're gonna go through all three sizes. We're gonna start with the smallest, okay? And with the smallest, I'm just gonna show you. Let's peel that right off and you could see that's clear. Let's see if I could put that, if I put that light on, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think that's too, 
Let's get a warm light. All right, we're gonna pull that up and zoom in. Okay, so it might still be, you might see that ring. I think that ring is no good. So let's take that light off. Okay, and let's put, that's even worse. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go, we're going to do this, and we're just going to zoom in. All right, so if you see my face in the metal, I apologize. All right, here we go. So we're going to start by taking one of my favorite is the dog tag, okay, out there, because not only can you do the zodiac at the end, but you could also use your letter stance for some kind of maybe monogram or, you know, a quote. All right, so I'm gonna show you, see that sticker right there? See that hole at the top? I'm gonna bring that, let's see if I could zoom in a little more. There we go. Right up there, perfect. All right, I'm gonna bring this right where my hole is. I like to line it up. I'm not pressing down on it, but then I'm gonna take it all the way down and center it. All right, now I could do a little bit better than that. Let's do a little bit better than that. So let's bring that, put that hole there. And let's center it a little bit more. There we go. Okay. And what's great about these is that they'll fix right to your block. See that sticker also works for it to stick to your block, okay? If you want more of a secure um, a secure mounting, definitely use your sticker. Your, you can use a sticker guide. You can use your stamp, stamp straight tape. I'm gonna come in with a sticker guide from our sticker guide book. And I'm just gonna put it right at the top just to secure it a little bit more so it doesn't move around while we are making, okay? Let's see if I could zoom in. Let's see. I don't know, sometimes it lets me do it, sometimes it doesn't. So I guess it's being temperamental today. So I'll just bring it up to you guys. All right, so now you see all those dots. Now with the small sticker, you're gonna come in with your smallest dot. And that's this one right here. And you can see that it's ground on both sides, making it easier for you to pinpoint exactly where your dots are. So I'm gonna take you guys down and just flip you around a little bit more. I'm sorry if I'm making anyone a little nauseous with the moving of the camera, but I want you to get that angle, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your stamp and you're gonna place it right where your first dot is, okay? So I'm coming in. So, sorry guys, but I can't see. Perfect, that's better. All right, we're gonna take that down. We're gonna place it right on top of that first, the first dot. I'm gonna take my hammer and I'm gonna give it a little hit, okay? Then I'm gonna continue. And I'm gonna go around and do all of my dots. And now, since I'm looking through a phone, um, it's a little bit more difficult. All right. All right, so I have all my dots there. Then I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna take my sticker guide off gently. All right, and sometimes you could take it off just like that and you can reuse your sticker. All right, so I'm just gonna place that right inside of where I took it out in my sticker guide book. All right, then I'm gonna come in, you know, like I said, I was gonna show you how you could stamp your constellation on something that's not round, okay? Then I could, I'm gonna come in and I'm just gonna put my sticker guide here. 
All right, and I'm going to use, let's see, I'm just going to use, hmm, what font, what font, what font? Let's see, I think I'm going to use my home rune. Let's pull some of these out. I'm going to pull my letters out. Okay. All right, so I have my letters here. And for those of you who have never had a class with me before, I'm gonna go into this um, a little bit with our straight sticker guide since we're talking about sticker guides. Okay, so I'm gonna tilt this up a little bit so it's easier for you guys to see. Could, are you guys good with, with, could you see? If you could give me yeses, I don't know if you could do thumbs up here, but yes, oh good, look, I love it, thank you. Thank you, Susie. Thank you, ladies. All right. So I'm going to use um, a three millimeter unit case. It's called Homeroom. Okay. And I am going to use the spaces in between my mark, my, my, with a marker that worked. Um, I'm going to write on my sticker. There we go. So I'm gonna do look at, and of course my writing is a lot more sloppy and you know on the heavy side um, compared to the impressions in my stamp. So I know that looks a little bit crowded, but I'm gonna use a, it's a three millimeter font. So I'm gonna use the spaces in between my black and orange, orange hash marks. All right, after I do that, I'm gonna come in with my stamps. So let's turn these over. And when I'm stamping, I always like to have my stamps on my non-dominant side. And the reason why I like to have them on my non-dominant side is one, they go in your non-dominant side. Your hammer, I'm a righty. So my hammer is always on my left side, okay? And my hammer is always on my right side. My stamps are always in my left. And what that's gonna do is when you're stamping your piece, you don't wanna line up with your right and then have to switch. So get in the hang of rolling your stamp down, moving your stamp down, okay? Lining that up with your non-dominant hands, all right? Because it's gonna have a really nice impression. It's gonna be even, it's not gonna be crooked because you're not switching in the middle. So get yourself into the, you know, muscle memory of using your non-dominant hand. So here is my L, I'm lining it up. I'm gonna bring you guys down a little bit so you could see how I'm lining it up. I'm placing it down flat, okay? And I'm lightly dragging it to that sticker guide. And if you have these sticker guides, you're gonna run your finger over it and you're gonna feel that it's a thick sticker guide, okay? We did them thick like this because I wanted to create a ledge, all right? A ledge that your letter would sit would sit up against, okay? So as you're dragging, you're gonna feel that restriction in that sticker. Once you feel that restriction and you see that your letter is matching up right in between of that hash mark where your letter's written on your sticker, you're gonna press down gently, take your hammer and give it a nice tap, okay? And there is my L. Then I'm gonna go to my O. and my K. So there's my look. Here's my A. Bringing that down, lightly dragging it till it feels that restriction and I'm, it's not a race. So if I feel that it's going over the sticker, I just pick it back up, okay? So I have look at, and then I'm gonna come in with, actually, you know what? I'm gonna reuse the sticker. There we go. So you definitely don't wanna go into your constellations. All right, so what I'm gonna do is look at, I'm gonna go with my T and I just write it right at the bottom, okay? Now, 
if you like neat things, use another sticker guide. You could even move this over and use your clear, you know, wh where you didn't write on it. Okay, I'm bringing it down. There's my T. My H. My E. My S. T. My A. My R. And last but neat, least, my S. Okay, so I have my look at the stars. And I have my constellation on the bottom. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my enamel marker. I'm gonna run that over my constellation, okay? Then I'm going to come in and rub my enamel over my letters. Give another coat to my stars. Okay, and I'm just gonna let that dry. Now, I'm not gonna take anything wet to it. I'm not taking alcohol to it. I'm not taking you know anything but a household wet paper towel. That is all, okay? I am going to lightly dab, okay? And I'm going to lightly wipe. Now let's just troubleshoot this enamel really quickly, okay? If you are not getting your enamel to stick inside of your impressions, it's because your impression isn't deep enough. So this enamel marker, Okay, this is formulated to coagulate, kind of, you know, thicken up inside of your metal. It sits inside of your metal. So if it doesn't have, you know, a crevice to sit into that's deep, it's not going to stay. You're going to wipe it right out. So you want to make sure that all of your impressions in your metal, all right, are deep. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to blot and I'm going to wipe. And there we have it. Let's see. There we go. Look at the stars and look how pretty that is. And keep in mind that on your alchemy and your aluminum, you could stamp on both sides of it, okay? Now, when you're done with that, you just wanna polish it up a little bit. I would take your buffing block, okay? And just run it over a little bit. If you picked one of these up at your Michaels, you're gonna notice that it's all white. That's how dirty it will get, but you can still use it. So don't think that once it gets a little dirty that you um, won't be able to use it because I use these for a long time. But look at that shine. It takes all that enamel off. It just looks so, so pretty. All right, so that's the first sticker in your sticker book. All right, and now we're gonna move on to um, a harder metal. So we're gonna move on to your rose gold that I was talking about um, before. And we're gonna use a larger sticker on that. But before I, I do that, I just want to polish it up a little bit. Um, it's just a pet peeve of mine. And sometimes it makes it easier for you guys to see without all the fingerprints on it. All right, so I'm taking one of these. This is a one inch copper disc. And what you should know about Impress Arts metals is your copper is fully copper, okay? So taking a cleaning solution to it, taking a polish pad or a polish rag is just gonna make it look even prettier, all right? You have nothing on the core of this, but jeweler's copper. So it's copper through and through. So you don't have to worry about polishing it and taking off the shine, taking off the finish, taking off the pleating, because this is pure copper, all right? Pure copper, same thing with your aluminum. Your aluminum, aluminum is a food grade aluminum, okay? Um, aluminum through and through, so you don't have to worry about any you know, flashing coming off or it tarnishing, all right? 
So just keep that in mind. The same thing with Alchemy. Alchemy is our proprietary metal. It is um, very similar to pewter. It's hypoallergenic. It doesn't corrode. It doesn't decay. Okay, it doesn't turn you green. So definitely take a look at the Impressar products in the Michaels aisles. All right, and here we go. We're going to start with our, we'll, we'll, we'll change up. We'll change up. I think we did, let's do a Pisces. So this is the sec second sticker in the sticker guidebook. All right, so I'll hold that so you guys could see. All right, and this one incorporates that glimmer stamp. It incorporates the small, it incorporates the medium and the glimmer. So I'm literally going to just follow the blue rim around the sticker guide, all right? Now this blank doesn't have a hole in it. I'm gonna put a hole in it after, all right? But that's where that hole should be. So you could always put a little dot in there. So when you're using your screw down hole punch later, you know exactly where to put your hole. So I'm going to put this on my block. All right, and put that down. It's very humid in here. So I don't think anything's quite sticking well today. It's nice to have a class that gets you out from being outside, right? And out of the sun. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just pull out the stamps that I need to make my design. So I have my small, I have my medium, I have my glimmer, okay? And that's what I'm gonna need. So I'm gonna start with my small dots first. I'm gonna bring you guys down a little bit so it's easier to see. Let's see, there we go and bring you closer. All right, and I am gonna start. So you wanna remember that your brass and your copper, they're harder metals. So how easy it was to stamp the aluminum and the alchemy because they're softer, you might need more of a heavier hit when you are working with your brass and your copper. So it's always good to have a piece of brass and copper close by just to, you know, before you get into your piece, just to try out um, the force behind your hammer, okay? So I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna line up. And there's one. Now, the harder you hit, the bigger your dot, the impression of your dot. So you wanna keep that in mind. You don't want to go so crazy because you want these little ones to stay um, small. You don't want your dots to blend into one another. All right, so I'm doing all of my smalls coming in. All right, and that's a medium. And I'm not moving my sticker. I'm rotating my block. All right, so I, that's a medium. Let's go to my, my babies. <laughs> All right, I'm turning my blog again. And you can see that I do use it on an angle so I know where I'm placing it. That's why we had them tapered because it just makes it so much easier. Now I'm gonna move over to my medium dot, which is bigger than my small. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Okay. And now I have my one glimmer. So I'm gonna take my one glimmer And I'm going to use that. Now that I've mixed all my stamps up. There we go. All right, there we have it. I'm a little off there, but that's okay. I'm right next to it. And now I'm gonna peel that off. And you could see these are really easy to have them stay the same, all right? So you could do one of, one of the two. You can put your hole there. What I like to do is, before I pull it off, 
Um, I like to take my large dot, just go in that center, give it a nice hit. So i now aware of where my hole should be. All right, so I'm pulling that back, taking that sticker off, coming in with my screw down hole punch. Feeding that right into my punch. Okay, I'm gonna take and just twist. And you're gonna feel it puncture the metal and it's so easy to do. Then I'm going to unscrew my punch. All right, and you're gonna see you have a really nice and even hole at the top of your piece. Okay, no puckering on the back. Perfect. So now I'm going to come in and I'm going to put my enamel inside there. Okay, and you're going to see the difference between the larger and the smaller. Okay, now what you could do is use your crystals. Okay, and we're going to we're going to do that in here. I'm going to I'm going to put a crystal on one of the medium sized dots just so you guys could see. And what you could use is your GS Hypo or an E6000 to place your flat back crystals inside. All right, so I'm just coming in dry household paper towel. I'm blotting. Okay, and I'm going to lightly wipe. There you go. So now you see you have your glimmer, little glimmer star, my hands in front of it. All right, and you have all of your dots in place. All right, and you can definitely darken them by putting another coat in. I said before, it's very humid down here. So things really aren't drying all that well today. I hope everyone's staying cool where you are, <laughs> which is pretty much impossible because I watched the news today and I could not believe the temperatures across the country. So I'm just coming in and I'm just, I'm gonna blot to help it dry a little bit and I'm not gonna wipe right away. I'm gonna let it sit. But if you've watched a class with me, you know I have no patience to let things sit, but we're gonna take patience today and let, <laughs> let it sit. All right, and I'm gonna pull out a crystal. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that all of your, your pieces are, you know, all of your stamped impressions are dry, okay, before you put your glue inside. And you can take a head pin. If you're using E6000, you could take a head pin. You could take a toothpick and pull some of that glue by the cap, okay? Or if you're using your GS Hypo, it automatically comes with that pin that comes inside of it. You're just gonna take that pin and put some glue on it and you're going to put some glue right inside your divot. So let's make our divot first. So I'm gonna work with the 2.8. All right, and I'm gonna pick one that I want. And I think the one that I want is right up here. Actually, let's do this one. Actually, very indecisive today. So this is a crystal setter, okay, or a crystal punch, all right? And what that does is it makes a really nice cavity inside your piece. You guys, can you guys see that? All right, and that's where your crystal is going to stay. All right, so once I've done that, I'm just gonna turn it around, give it a couple of hits with the back of my hammer just to knock it down a slight bit. Okay, so it's nice and flat. So I'm gonna take my GS Hypo or my E6000. I'm gonna put some glue on a head pin or a toothpick and I'm gonna put it right inside of that crevice, that divot that's in there. Then I'm gonna come in with my crystal, my flat back crystal, and I'm gonna place that right inside, okay? And now look guys, look what you have, how pretty is that? So now you have your constellation necklace, all right? One of your stars, 
has a crystal in there. So pretty. So what you want to do is you want to definitely wait from eight to 12 hours to actually wear it or get it wet. Okay. Um, E6000, NGS Hypo, they're both a cement glue. It will stay in your metal. They're both meant for metal um, and flat back crystals. So you're not going to have a problem with it. Um, after the time where you feel that it's dry, you're going to put your jump ring on, put it on a chain and you are ready to go. Okay, but how pretty is that? Especially the way it reflects on that copper disc. So you just have to keep in mind, if you go to your local Michaels and you wanna do a gold or you wanna do a copper, you're gonna to have to use a little bit more force behind your hammer, okay? To get those stamps to firmly set in and leave a really nice deep impression, all right? So there's the copper. Now we're gonna to go to one of our bigger discs, okay? And this is an inch and a quarter, okay? They have them at Michael's. They have them, I believe, in the brass and the copper and they have them in the aluminum. So we're just gonna place that flat right down there. And we're gonna come in with, let's try to get a real, we're gonna go with Virgo. Let's hear it for our Virgos, okay? so. We're gonna go with the Virgo sticker, just so you guys could see. And the reason why I picked this one is because it's got a lot going on. Um, and we could also add some initials to this and we're gonna make a complete necklace um, with another little hang tag with a letter on it. All right, so you're gonna come in with this. You're gonna line up that hole right where that hole is. All right, and you're gonna have it fill up your sticker. Okay, then you're gonna place it down just like we did the other two. All right. And you're gonna come in and you're gonna start again. So what I like to do first on the big ones is the, um, the, the shimmer, not the shimmer, um, the starburst, okay? So we're gonna work with that first. Let's grab that stamp. Okay, so your starburst is a four millimeter stamp. You can see it's got all that great goodness in there. Okay, and this is gonna leave a really, really nice effect inside your metal. It's also gonna leave an opening for you to use your crystal setter inside, okay, to have that glimmer around one of your crystals. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna come in and my glimmer is right down here. If anyone could see it, I'm just gonna point to it. All right, and then I have that dot in that center. What I'm gonna do is try to line up my stamp on that glimmer to the best of my ability. Okay. Now something that you can see, and I'm going to just turn this around and I put the light on it a little bit, just so maybe not. You guys could see it better. Let's see. No, nope, no zooming. Um, let's pull it up. There we go right here. All right. Cause you got that there. See that glimmer all around it. I'm not sure, oh, there we go. Sometimes you could see it. We've got good light right now. Do you see how you can see the impression on the bottom of the stamp? Okay, use that to your ability. Line it up as you come down. Do you see that? Okay, so we're looking, if anyone can see it, we're looking inside your metal. All right, coming in and we're lining up. All right. So definitely make sure. And I just like to go in a circle. I'm putting pressure on it. It's called the tilt and tap technique. I want to make sure that all of those lines in that stamp are getting into my metal. And there we go. We are right around there. Okay. So make sure that you use, okay, you use the bottom, the inside of your metal to see your stamps, all right? So now we're gonna go with the small dots. And you could see, see that bottom? I just think that this is perfect light to show you guys. Sometimes this happens, sometimes it doesn't. But do you see that dot? And do you see where I am? That's the best way for me to show you. And that sometimes never really happens. Okay. Now it looks like that I'm missing the dots, but I'm not. Sometimes when you're forging into the metal, it will kick the sticker to the side. 
Okay, so don't worry if you're panicking that you're not hitting the dots. I guarantee you that you are hitting the dots. It's just kicking the sticker over a little bit. All right, now moving to my larger. Okay, and then I have my glimmer. So I'm not gonna use my, um, actually, you know what? I wanna use my glimmer. We're gonna use the glimmer. I'm always like impartial with the glimmer. Do I wanna use the glimmer? Do I not wanna use the glimmer? But I definitely wanna use the glimmer. All right, but then I'm gonna come in right here, okay, to my starburst. And I'm gonna come in with my crystal setter. Okay, now this gets a little tricky. You definitely want to try to get that glimmer, that, um, that punch in the middle of that glimmer, okay? And we did, there we go. All right, so you're gonna come in and now you're gonna pull that sticker guide off. All right, now sometimes in that glimmer, because there's so much going on, you're gonna have the remnants of the plastic. You're just gonna come in. You could do it with a toothpick if you'd like. You're gonna come in with either your fingernail, there we go, and it's out. Um, you're gonna have some plastic in there of the sticker. You definitely want to make sure that that sticker is out of there because you don't wanna put your glue on top of it, okay? Now, when I was stamping this, I made sure to not hit it so far dead on because I just wanna show you if you get a half impression. So if you see here, we have all of these starbursts, but we're missing the two right here. That's because when I tilted and tapped, I didn't really have my stamp flat as I was hitting it. It's very easy, okay, if you have the patience to get your stamp back in those impressions. You're just going to lightly hover it over until it falls right into the deeper impressions. Okay, there we go, right here. So. I'm just gonna give it two more dots and there we go. Now we have a really nice impression all around. And I still have my, my divot in the center, okay? Now I'm gonna come in with my enamel and I'm gonna color it in. All right. I'm definitely gonna let it dry, okay? I'm not gonna play with it too much. But in the meantime, I'm gonna come in with a small tab. Now, Michael has a variety of smaller tabs. They have them in hearts, they have them in stars, in different colors, whatever suits your fancy. I'm gonna come in, cause I like mixed metals. I'm gonna come in with a copper tab, okay? And I'm gonna pull out one of my sticker guides, my straight sticker guides, all right? And I'm gonna just place this to the side, bring this out, and I'm going to place my sticker guide in the center of my copper disc, okay? And I am going to bring out my letters that I want to stamp. So I'm making this for Ava, so I wanna come in. And with this, I don't want my letters so close together. I wanna to spread them out a little bit, especially since um, it's just a really short, short name. So I'm gonna work, instead of in between, I'm gonna work on my hash marks, okay? Just like that. So I'm gonna come in with my A, okay? I'm gonna bring that down, I'm gonna line it up, lightly drag it, okay? Let it meet up at the center, take my hammer, and give it a nice hit, and there's my A. Then I'm gonna come in with my V. And I'm gonna come in with my A. Okay, and I'm gonna pull my sticker away, 
And there I have Ava on there, nice and even and straight. Okay, now we're just gonna go over this a little bit. Same thing that we did with the glimmer, okay? If you're first time using and you're getting half of impression, just come over, feel that, okay? Let it sit right in that impression and give it a nice hit, okay? And sometimes it's up to you whether you like a thinner impression or a little bit of a thicker impression, okay? So I'm gonna come in with my enamel marker. I'm gonna color that in, let that dry. Move that to the side, bring back my big disc, okay? And I'm gonna dap and lightly wipe. Okay, I have my glimmer. Now that big spot, that's gonna be where my crystal is. I'm gonna just try to get in there and get that enamel out. Not so important, but you don't want so much of it in there. Um, you can if you want, if you more, want more of a distressed look. I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna grab my chain. Okay, I'm grabbing a cable chain, bringing Ava back. Lightly dab, lightly wipe. All right, so I have my Ava. All right, and I'm gonna bring in my jump rings. Okay, so you could do mixed metal. You could do your silver jump rings. You could do copper jump rings. It's really completely up to you. Or if you wanna go complete mixed metals, you could come in with gold. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come in with the gold. So it really just looks really, really pretty. All right, I'm gonna come in with my pliers. So when you're putting jump rings on, you definitely wanna utilize two chain nose pliers. All right, I'm gonna come in. I'm going to make sure that my pliers are in a right, the right place, right up at top. And I'm gonna make sure that my, right there, the top of my jump ring is facing up and I'm not gonna pull apart, but I'm going to twist, okay? I'm gonna twist, I'm gonna put my Ava on and then put my chain through. I'm gonna come back in, close that up. Same thing with my other, I'm coming in and I'm gonna open that up. I'm gonna put my disc through, put that on, chain in, and then twist my jump ring back. Now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put my crystal in. So I'm taking my E6000, just taking a little dot of it. I'm coming in, I'm putting it right inside. I'm coming in with my crystal. Now you could put anything, you could put a birth crystal in, okay? Because your um, crystal guides, you know, your crystal stick, your crystal stickers. Your constellation guides, they work really, really well. And I'm gonna put that right in there. All right. And that's how cute that necklace looks. Look how adorable that is. Let's move that over just a smidge. Ooh, there we go. So we have that halo right over it. We have that glimmer, we have Ava, and then you're all set. So it didn't take a really long time to do. Okay, maybe 10 minutes. I think the most time consuming part is just for the glue to dry. All right. Does anyone have any questions? Any questions, any questions? No questions? Let's see. Let's see if I could see the chat. 
Okay, let's see. I have bought the simple straight jig and still have issues with stamp making even uh, uneven marks like the bottom of the letter will show, but not the top. Okay, Susie. So, um, I'm just going to move this off and let's go over that. Cause we have a couple of minutes. All right. I'm just going to put this aside and let's go back to Susie's question. Okay. So Susie, you have the simple strike jig. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You are the best too. <laughs> so you're going to place your stamp down. Now I know you have the stamp jig. All right. But even in the, let's see, do I have, I don't have a stamp jig here with me, but let's just play like I have one. So it's in your stamp jig. You have your stamp down. Okay. You're going to press down on it to make sure that it's hitting your metal in your stamp jig. Then you're going to take your fingers and you're going to squeeze your stamp jig. Okay. What I want you to do is I want you to take your hammer and I'm going to just pull you back a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to take my hammer. Let's just pull you back just a little bit. Okay. So you're going to hit, hit it once. And then what I want you to do is lightly just tilt the stamp a little bit. Okay. You don't have to hit it as many times as I did, but do you see how you get that whole impression there? So even if you're working with a letter, okay, and it's in that, in that jig, okay, you're going to lightly tap it and then lightly just go around it, okay? And I believe someone referred to it sort of like um, a mortar and, I don't even know if I'm saying this right, mortar and pestle, yeah. So definitely see how that T is full. So I want you to not be afraid. I don't know if you have the jig because you're afraid of, of hitting um, the hammer or just grasping the stamp. Take your metal, take your stamp, okay? Move your fingers down to the bottom and just try lightly tapping it and tilting it without your jig and let's see how you do. You could always contact us if you have um, if you have Facebook or you could do Rita P at impressart.com. Okay, Rita P at impressart.com. And you could email me and let me know how that works for you. Okay. You also have to make sure that you know um, you're stamping on a steel block. I tried to make a base and I parts of times under I use letters are not fully showing. Was it me or the stamps are not good? How can I tell? Um, so, um, and I'm horrible at Lorena, L L L Lorena. Um, like I said, you can shoot us, um, shoot me an email. It's Rita P and impress art. Um, snap a picture of your stamp. Let me see. Listen, maybe um, if you purchase stamps online, maybe, um, and they're not from Michael's, maybe there's an issue with stamps. So definitely reach out and let me know. Okay. All right, guys. So thank you so much um, for joining. Um, I appreciate it. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Debbie. Now I'm seeing everybody. Lucy, Carrie, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So definitely, guys, share your project with us on social media platforms. Hashtag Michael's classes, make it with Michael's and learn with Michael's. Or you could even hashtag impress art because I want to see also what you guys are making. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope to see you guys next month. All right. Have a good weekend.